Hey there, cutie. What's your name? Yeah, I know. We've been married for a long time now. Just play along. Okay, sweetheart? <clears throat> Let me try this again. Hey there, cutie. What's your name? As for mine, you can just call me yours. Oh, that's a nice name. I think it'd look even better next to mine, though. Flirting? I'm not flirting. I just came over here to ask for directions, is all. Because I got lost in your eyes. But while we're on the topic of flirting, want to come back to my place? I'll show you a night even a goldfish wouldn't forget. I'm not being perverted. A pervert wouldn't care about your personality like I do. And I love your personality. But your body is a nice plus. Fine, fine. I can take things a bit slower. How about we just start things off with a date? I'd take you to the movies. But they don't want you to bring your own snacks. Let's see. What would be a fun date activity? Oh, I know. You like sleeping, right? Me too. We should do it together sometime. Oh, you poor thing. You're getting all red. Are you okay? I hope you're not sick. If you are, I hope you'll get better soon. I'll keep you in my thoughts. My inappropriate thoughts. But my thoughts all the same. What are you giving me that look for? They're just thoughts. Is it a crime to have thoughts about you? And even if it was a crime, it's not like I'd get arrested for it. I didn't get arrested for stalking you. I'm not going to get arrested for this. And yes, I know you dropped the charges, but that is only a slightly related point. Tell you what, if I'm being a bit overwhelming, then I'm sorry. Here, as an apology, I'll do you a favor. Let me tie your shoes for you. I'd hate to see you falling for anybody else. And especially since hiding the body is always such a bother. Hmm? What? No, I've never killed anyone. Why? Do you have evidence? Anything that would hold up in court, perhaps? Well then, I guess there isn't a problem then. Other than the problem with my eyes. Because I can't seem to take them off of you. You know, it's really your fault for being so cute. You really owe me for this. I'll accept your phone number's payment. Or your address, maybe. Maybe something else if you're feeling spicy. Oh, fine, fine. I'll let it go. You don't owe me anything. I'll give you a break. It's the least I can do since you must be so tired from running through my mind all day. Poor thing. You probably need a rest, right? You can sleep in my arms. I'll even keep my hands above your waist. And while you're there, we could get to know each other better. Use a few icebreakers, you know? Like, I could ask you a few personal questions. Like, do you lock your windows at night? How many kids are we having? You know, just to get to know each other better. Ah, and I still never got your number. I'll just save you in my contacts as my future. You can ask me a few questions as well. That's only fair. What would you like to ask, darling? Where I keep the bodies. You're funny. 
My dear, the only body I'm interested in is yours. I was expecting you to ask something more interesting, like what I'll be making us for breakfast in the morning. I'm sure you'll have worked up an appetite after all. So what else do you have to ask me? Oh, don't worry, sweetheart. I can assure you I am staring at your personality. But if it makes you feel better, I can give you a gift to soothe things over. Let's see. I've already given you my heart, so I can't really give you that. But surely I have some other organ I can give you instead. Mm. Ah, I know. How about I give you my kidney? I know, I know. It was just a joke. I mean, what would you even do with my kidney? They don't go for nearly as much these days. Don't worry. That, that was also a joke. I'm not involved in that kind of trade. It's a lot harder to get away with than most of the crimes I commit. Allegedly commit. Which is a real problem, because then I would end up in a jail cell. And they aren't nearly as comfy as the cell I have in my basement. It's a tragedy, I tell you. And if I was in jail, I wouldn't be here to perv on you. No, you don't understand. I'm perving respectfully. That makes it okay. Just ask any lawyer. If, however, you like me to perv disrespectfully, then that is always on the table along with some honey garlic chicken thighs because I'd love to have dinner with a perfect specimen such as yourself. You should really try them, actually. The chicken thighs are best when hot, though they'll never be as hot as yours. I should know. I'm a chef. A hobbyist chef, but a chef nonetheless. And might I say, of all the pastries I've seen in my life, I've never seen a cinnamon bun quite as sweet as you. Oh, wow. That was maybe the one innocent thing I said today. Maybe I should have made some other bun comment. I know, you're giving me material. Anyway, back to the lewd. I, I mean, the food. Since I'm such a great chef... You should also try my club sandwich. It's the best kind of sandwich that doesn't involve you, me, and the blanket. You should also try my lasagna bake. There isn't any joke or pickup line or anything here. It's just genuinely really good, and you should try it. Kind of like you should try shopping for pants with me. I'd like you to pick something out for me. So I know which pair is going to look best on your bedroom floor. I'm really looking forward to that. You're the person of my dreams, after all. Although, they're usually not the dry kind of dreams. I could tell you about them. But, I think it'd be easier to show you. So, maybe you could make them come true tonight? Oh, really? What are you busy with? Because, you know, it would be a lot more fun to be busy with me instead. I'm the person of your dreams, too, right? At least, I assume I am. I can't really confirm because your dreams are the one place I can't watch you, unfortunately. But I think it's a pretty safe bet. There's a lot of evidence for it. You see, I'm cute, funny, charming, mostly respectful, despite my basest urges. And also, I'm cute. Did I mention that? It takes a cutie to know one, I suppose. I know you're into me, but it's really adorable how you're playing hard to get. So... 
What will it take to get you to stop playing coy? Hmm? What do I need to do to seduce you? Is it cake? It's cake, isn't it? But how am I supposed to seduce you with cake when you brought your own? Are you trying to outdo me? Well, then I guess I'll just have to outdo you. But maybe not the out part. Did I mention that you look extremely lovely when you're blushing? I think I did. But it's worth mentioning twice. I'm so lucky I got to meet someone like you. You're perfect. You're one of a kind. You look so adorable when I fluster you. But also look extremely biteable, I might add. Every time I look at your neck, I feel like a vampire. And you know what else I love about you? You don't look too deeply into mysterious disappearances, which I had nothing to do with. And if I did, they deserved it. Trust me, I'm innocent. Well, okay. Maybe I have been everything but innocent for the last 10 minutes or so. But, in a general sense, I am innocent. How could someone as wonderful as me not be? After all, I'm your genie's wish come true. Which is saying a lot, actually. Because you could have, like, wished to end world hunger or something. But your wish was not wasted on me, I guarantee you. After all, I'm loving, caring, and innocent. Well, okay. Maybe I'm not so innocent if I can't go five minutes without making a pass at you. But still, you're not too innocent either, you little thief. You stole my heart. Did you even think about that? How would you like it if I stole a kiss? Hmm? Did you think that through? Maybe I should show you what it feels like to be stolen from. Not feeling so tough now, are you? If you're not a coward, then let's settle this in the next room. Which just happens to be the bedroom. But let's not change the subject. Unless you're scared. You feeling up to it? Oh? So now you finally accepted to come to bed with me? Did you get tired of playing hard to get? I knew you'd see reason. Or did you just see something you liked? I'm talking about my personality, of course. Of course. What else would I be talking about? Certainly nothing inappropriate. I'd ask you to pinch me so I know I'm not dreaming. But I think I'd rather you bite me. I love you, baby.